Let me close half of my face. Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna learn about some face detection models. Here are the models which we are gonna talk in this video. And face detection is a trending uh, topic in computer vision area. And uh, these are the some important uh, models we are using for not only for face detection, of course, but in this video, we are gonna focusing on uh, face detection. And we are gonna use these models in this video with the C and the help of OpenCV. Okay. And hard implementation is developed in 2001, almost 20 years ago, and is still used in some cases, in some projects, uh, because of it's faster, it's really faster on CPU, no need even GPU, it's really faster on CPU side, all, but uh, that, of, always I'm saying that there is a trade-off between the uh, accuracy and bit also between the accuracy and the speed. So the faster this is, but uh, on the other hand, this is the less accuracy we have. But uh, in some projects, you don't need accuracy. Maybe you can still use this hard implementation. It's still uh, useful. Okay. And Cafe implementation. Cafe is a framework we all know, and it, there is a model in here which is the link. I will put all of these link in the description part of this video, and you can directly download the models from there. And the first one is model, uh, this is the weight file, which we are using in the YOLO video, you will remember, there is a weight file in there, also there is a configuration file, this is the weight file, and this is the uh, configuration file, we can say, okay. And uh, this is for cafe implementation, this is DNM based, deep uh, neural network based, and uh, also, okay, anyway, TensorFlow also the same implementation totally. I'm in this video. I wanna check also. I'm curious. Even they are the same model. Uh, let's see the difference. There will be a difference or not. We will uh, test it by ourselves in our code. Okay. Also, this is the weight file. This is the configuration file. Uh, when you directly click this, the it will download the models. Okay. And what else? Uh, the lib implementation. This is also CNN based. CNN is uh, a subset of DNN, we can say. The, this is also DNN, we can call, but uh, a different category of DNN. So, CNN, convolutional neural network based. This is the lib, but also the, in, in this one, you need uh, a DLIP implementation, DLIP installation. Uh, in my previous videos, I already talked about this uh, DLIP, how to, how to install and how to link our code part. Uh, if you didn't uh, watch that, please also watch it and install this DLIP. That's why uh, you will need to uh, use that in this project. Okay. These are the models. Also, I want to talk of uh, models, how you can get. For example, in if you already installed OpenCV, when you click the installation directory, when you enter that, and you will see these folders. And if you see the data part and hard case case part, you will already see the HAR implementation here, some of the HAR uh, models you will see here. And in this video, we are gonna use the uh, HAR cascade uh, front, frontal face, one of these, I think. Okay, anyway, so you don't need to download. You, if you already installed OpenCV, you can e easily reach them. In the, on the other hand, for the configuration file of Cafe and the TensorFlow, also OpenCV inside has. Where is that? They are in the samples part in here and the DNM part you are clicking and you will get face detection folder and here uh, deploy prototypes which is we need for the for the cafe model and also you will see the other for TensorFlow one this one. So you don't need to actually download the configuration files because OpenCV inside already have it. Okay and other one i will put the description you can download i already download in three folders here are they are not really big files uh, five or ten megabyte at all and that's all let's post to pass to the code part i already coded and i will share this code in my github you can directly release from there and here uh, first of all in hard model we are uh, giving the path of the model and then we are loading to the uh, network and this one cafe model is uh, we are again giving configuration and the weight file then we are reading from the dnn uh, uh, open cv dnn uh, namespace and from read net from cafe we are reading config and weight files here important part is uh, already i'm uh, setting this net network as backend kudo to be able to use my gpu uh, these dnn based models 
need to be used in, in GPU part because these are really slow in otherwise in your CPU so I suggest that if you have GPU please run them on GPU and if you did not yet install the CUDA already please check my previous video and install CUDA to get more faster results okay TensorFlow also same we are defining the config and wait file then reading from net just different network I'm defining net2 I define here then uh, again uh, I'm setting the backend as CUDA as GPU uh, for dlib we are using uh, dlib li library you will need I said also you should install the dlib library then you will need hog model in here histogram of gradient which is a CNN based uh, model and in here I'm using this and we will see but unfortunately I installed the lib without the CUDA support so maybe I will get some uh, slow results even the hog model the fastest one in the CPU side but unfortunately I cannot run, run it on GPU but if I'm make at all the backend CPU all of this this hog model the dlib model will be working more faster than this TensorFlow and Cafe model. Okay. okay, in here basically I'm running my camera, then I'm implementing by one by each of the model. And uh, this Cafe and TensorFlow model, we have confidence limit, we can say. And here at 70 percentage, if the confidence is bigger than 70 percentage, I'm saying that uh, we can we we have a face on the screen. So I'm drawing a rectangle. Also, each of the detection for each model I'm increasing a counter for each of them differently to be able to count the, the number so at the end we can test the accuracy which one is detecting more than the other ones we are gonna test it with this with the help of this uh, first of all I'm not implementing the delip model because this is uh, this will be working very slowly so at the beginning I'm not I'm just toggling this the later I will untoggle so we will be able to see the results but first of all let's uh, try to test with TensorFlow and Cafe as I said at the beginning TensorFlow and Cafe have the same model but uh, they are different frameworks so I'm just curious how will be the results let's see the let's see the test uh, HAR is very low accuracy so I'm not uh, considering it I'm not counting also that one because HAR is just uh, very slow I'm not even counting you will see for example let me you can see he can uh, he can detect the ghost faces so <laughs> so he can see some faces which we don't see you can see okay by the parameter of car in the code part you can maybe eliminate this but uh, no need to even talk this is low accuracy we already know okay uh, this bot is totally same model frameworks cafe and tensorflow just different and let's see some different uh, close my face let's look at not frontal but seems at all they are detecting same yeah this will be delip but not yet not yet put okay uh, okay seems totally same uh, I finished the process and you can see detecting at all same test okay let's open the hog uh, this is okay let's open the toggle ah oh, sorry and now let's see the result this will be very slow because this is working on CPU but others working on GPU let's run okay yeah it's working very slow let me close half of my face okay it's coming slowly and still the lip hair is able to detect let me close more okay the lip already on the back side cannot detect some of them let me change the frontal face Yeah, I cannot see but we will see the result yeah uh, already we can see 10 frames 10 faces already delete uh, lost 
so these are the results and cafe and tensorflow even tensorflow loss one okay not able to detect so before we didn't see any difference but now we see cafe is better in this test and dilip we can say worse than both of them even okay and hard we not we don't need to talk and okay this video i i just wanted to show this one these test results are already low accuracy but the still the uh, the most faster one the fastest one and cafe is in in this test in the last test better than tensorflow vc it detected more uh faces and tensorflow is also still good but the lip uh in when i close my half of face or some occlusions i i applied it is not able to detect the faces uh, already missed maybe 10 faces in here uh, why it is uh, slow let's again talk uh, it's slow because i uh, installed the lip library without the support of the com without compatible uh, CUDA support so maybe i will make a uh, make an another video reinstall the lip with the CUDA support maybe we can see the result in there again and uh this as i said if we close this uh already cafe and tensorflow is working faster because of they are using gpu okay this video i just wanted to show them and i will share this code in my github see you in the next videos